So I was listening to Security Now the other day, and one of Leo's sponsors was called Go to Assist Express. Now, this is not for your average person. This program really is kind of expensive. It's more of a monthly membership, which is like $79 a month, or which comes to about $800 and some dollars a year. But if you pay for it for one year, you can get a discount and get it down to $660 per month. So obviously, it's not for your average Joe. This program is geared more towards people who do remote assistance. Now, I wouldn't even say if you do remote assistance with your parents or your friends. It's kind of expensive for that. Uh, but this one works good for if you um, do that as a job, for like if you're in computer repair and you want to remote into people's computers. Um, previously, I've been using uh, Hamachi plus Ultra VNC. Eh, it's way too complicated. I mean, i got to set it up myself. i got to be do it on their computer and I sometimes use the free team viewer to get in there to, to set it up but it's such a pain in the butt and this one is I've just got done playing with it here and I signed up for a free 30-day trial and what what's the term when you just about wet yourself uh, it is, this is so cool okay so you open up go to assist express and here's the main screen now you can either have the user go to www.fastsupport.com and enter this key. And yes, this key is once per session, so if you guys try to use it, it's going to be no good. Or you can copy it and email it to them. And to show you how this works, let's go ahead and copy it right there. And I have my Media Center PC running over here. And I kind of um, turned my resolution down here so I could do a high def full screen. So we're going to go ahead and paste it in there. And this is acting like you just sent the user this in the email. And so let's assume they click on it. What happens? Okay. It opens up their web browser and it takes them directly to this website. Now, this is going to go a little bit faster because I've already downloaded it. The download on a high speed takes maybe 15 seconds. Okay, it says continue. Connecting. Now, Adam Botch, and that's me, invited you to join a session by joining it. You see your screen, control your mouse, transfer, do you wish to proceed? The customer clicks yes, and boom, we are in. Now we can go ahead and maximize this. Well, it's going to be a little bit smaller because the resolution of my screen, I had to dumb it down so I could um, get a high def stream, but this, this is still pretty good. If you full screen it, and then it moves out of the way. Here is that desktop. Let's go ahead and, and close that. Now, there's a few features here that really <laughs> are cool. One of which, if you go up on top, you can click the Diagnostics button. And what does that do? Well, you click that, and that gives you the, oops, they have to confirm it, or you can confirm it for them. Uh, you can see there's startup programs, you can see their processes, you can see their logical drives, you can see their summary, which is their RAM, you can see their default browser, services, installed applications, um, their version of Out or Office, um, recent reports, you can save it. I mean, this thing is, this is just sweet. You can also chat to them, I can, or this is them. They can click chat to you, they can say, Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Now, another cool thing you can actually create is an unattended session. So you can actually um, type in a, or you go to create a session. Let's say you're working on their machine and you got to reboot the machine and you don't want the customer to come back and always have to sign in. You can actually type in their login credentials. It'll log in automatically. You give it a key and then underneath session you can sh view unattended computers and you can see when they're online you can just connect to them I mean this is so cool you can do a file transfer you can send a cut a file and it's just this easy we're just gonna go ahead and send my Monday document and this is where do you want to send it uh, we're gonna send it to the desktop oops let's get this out of there browse for a folder Desktop, OK, save, and boom. It just downloads it just like that. 
so cool. You can actually give notes per customer. So I'm having fun. Whee! Um, screen sharing. Oh, it scales to fit. You can do actual size. And so this is the actual size of their desktop. You can do zoom to 50. That's 50% zoom. Well, that's kind of cool. Didn't even see that. So it's 100%. And so we'll just do um, scale to fit. That is so neat. And then underneath tools, you can send an alt control delete. You can reboot. You can say, hey, go ahead and reboot in safe mode. Um, the drawing tool, which I'm not sure what this does. Maybe we can we highlight stuff. Huh, look at that. We can circle stuff. And I'm guessing they would see it on their screens too. So you could say, take this icon right here. And that's the icon that you want to use. Well, that is neat. Well, anyway, that's just a little tour of this software. I got all excited when I saw it, so I thought I'd share it with all of you. Um, it, like I said, it's it's quite pricey, but I mean, if you do this kind of work and you charge for it, uh, I can see you making it back pretty quick. And so to go ahead and disconnect, once you close, all sessions, do you want to close? Yes. So let's all go ahead and open the VNC back up again. Hit OK, and look down here. Your icon. Let's see where are we at. There we go. The icon just automatically closes, and the program pretty much terminates itself and deletes any kind of um, tracks that was ever on your computer. That is really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, if I can only find the stop button. Thanks.